as the next finalists come out. Be able to, to catch your breath a little here. Liz, it's the, the 400, it's a little bit of a longer race. Men's 400 freestyle sees Thies van Wolfwegen from the Netherlands as the fastest qualifier in lane four. Marco Maria Zolfin from Italy, breaststroke bronze medalist a couple of days ago. Elshu Perez Diego from Spain. And to Vyacheslav Lenski from Russia. He could challenge for the medals in three. The young man, Thies van Hofwegen, has had an excellent event so far. The world champion in lane number five, Francesco Bocciardo. Alison Glock, ran you know well, where's the Brazilian swimmer? He was in six, Jovolinski in seven, and Igor Luchkin goes in lane number eight. Again, a range of disabilities in this one. Yeah, and the S6 classification is probably one of the most diverse groups in terms of the range of impairments that are included, but they, they're all very evenly matched, as we'll see once they get up and into their strokes. Most of the swimmers starting from the blocks in one form or another. One with a sit start, the rest going from their feet or foot. As we can see there, Talisman Glock he got a really good start, as did Dies van Hoeven in the middle lane, and they'll look to maximise that advantage for as long as possible. But we're already seeing the athletes who started in the water and got straight up and into their strokes starting to claw back that advantage that the, uh, the divers had. Dies van Hoeven, the youngster from the Netherlands, like he will have that lead, in fact it's Lenski will have the lead, but only by three one hundredths of a second. Yes, Paul, but Van Hoofvegen had the much better turn and as he pushed off, he opened up half a body length gap lead there and uh, he'll probably, we'll look to see him do that on every turn as then the athletes come back at him down this, in the swimming part of the race and yeah, we can see that's happening from Francesco Bocchiardo in uh, lane five. Now Bocchiardo was the world champion last year that time of 5.06.49 that he posted last year and he hasn't gone faster than that 5.06 this year already but now he's come back on that 100 and he's gone over in 113.60 and he's looking good the Italian isn't he after a, a relatively slow start he let the two young swimmers inside him go out pretty fast but He's looking good at the moment, the Italian. Yeah, and he's now found the pace that he wants to work on for this 400 metres. He will have worked on training with his coach. He will have found an optimum pace that works for him that he can maintain over the eight lengths of the race. And we can already see now he's got himself a rhythm. His breathing pattern is sorted and he's pulling away down. The, that already he's pulled away and we were only 150 metres into the race. Well, actually, it's very, very consistent stuff right from... The gun there from Bocciardo, his first 50 and 36.80. He went his second 50 in 36.80, exactly the same. And he's gone through that third 50 in just 37, 37.2. So really consistent stuff for the Italian. Yeah, and consistency really is the key to these distance races because it's a long way and if you start off too hard, you really pay for it at the end. But if you go off too easy, easily, you end up getting to the end wishing you'd give him more. So, as I said, he will have worked with his coach through the season to find the optimum pace that he can hold and maintain for the entire eight lengths. And we can see that he's doing that here. Well, he's still in the 37 range as he went over on that fourth 50. And this is excellent from the world champion from last year. And in second position, Rasislav Lenski. He was at the world championships last year. It's his first European championships and he is holding on to a very handy position there. In second position, Thies van Hoofwegen. Already a silver medalist this week and a bronze medalist in the European events. Thies van Hoofwegen one of a very small 
Netherlands team, but a very successful Netherlands team that's here at these championships. Yeah, Paula, Netherlands have only brought four athletes to this meet, and two two youngsters, two newcomers. Tisan Hoovigan is one of those, and he's actually been paired up with the very experienced S14 swimmer Mark Avers as a mentor for him, so he can gain experience here, learn the ropes of international competition, so that he'll be ready for the Rio Paralympic Games in the summer, having posted a qualification time. Well, Pocchiato is just relentless here in his pacing. He's pacing here, 36.8, 36.8, and the other 450s have all been in the 37 second range. Yep, and he's being rewarded for that consistency as the gap continues to open up. He remains looking strong. And it's sometimes difficult. We've seen here the Italians are having a very successful week, and when you're the athlete who's got to wait towards the end of the week, for your main event. Sometimes the pressure can build, but we can see here that Francesco Bocchiardo hasn't let that happen and he's dominating this field. Well, Linsky still in second position there. Third place, Van Hoofbegen. Tellison Glock coming back strongly, the Brazilian, but the Italian Bocchiardo is on his way home. It's Francesco Bocchiardo coming now down to the last 15 metres. Can he get under? the five minute mark maybe not I think that time is just going to slip by but it is still a very very consistent swim here from Francesco Bocciano from Italy in 5.03.02 and that was a superb display of pace swimming from the Italian and it really paid him dividends and that time that he did was faster than he went in the world championship final last year Lanshev Levinsky just touching there for the silver medal pole in a time of 5 minutes 19.457 and Chief Van Hoofigen holding on for another bronze medal to go with the one that he collected in the 100 metres backstroke earlier in the week. It was a good swim from those three swimmers and a good swim from the man who eventually took that title there. He's not in the picture at the start. He let the youngsters go away a little bit early but he knew what he was doing he had a game plan and he stuck to it very well indeed yeah, and he looks so comfortable as you said Paul here we can see the consistent stroke rate that he had and he didn't let that drop throughout the race and the splits well the splits speak for themselves here is Bocciardo from Italy he takes gold medal at this European Championships to go with the one that he won at the World Championships last year. Francesco Bocciardo is a European champion, Lenski the silver medalist and Thies van Hofwegen the bronze medalist for the Netherlands. Well, 